Well, we've been continuing in a study of the Gospel of John, and, you know, again, I just love the timing of this that, you know, that uh, I didn't really plan it this way, but God just had it planned out so that we were studying John 18 and 19, this whole section of the trial and the crucifixion of Jesus leading up to Easter Sunday. And so this morning, we're going to be looking at John 19, starting in verse 17, and it's really John's telling of the story of Jesus' death on the cross. And uh, again, what a relevant subject to be studying the Sunday before Easter. And so if you have a Bible, I'm going to invite you to turn there with me. If you don't, there's, and you're here with us, there's one in front of you in the pew. And I'd encourage you to not only turn there, but then to keep your Bible open throughout our time so you can uh, follow along with us as we see you know, God, how God develops these points from his word. And, uh, but let me begin by reading the passage we're going to look at today, John 19, starting in verse 17. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of the skull, which in Arabic means Golgotha. There they crucified him with two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and it was written in Aramaic, in Latin, and in Greek. So the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Do not write, King of the Jews, but rather, this man said, I am King of the Jews. And Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. Now the soldiers had crucified Jesus. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his garments and divided them into four parts. One part for each soldier, also his tunic, but the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. So they said to one another, let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who it shall be. For this was to fulfill the scripture that said, they shall divide my garments amongst them, and for my clothing they cast lots. So the soldiers did these things. But standing by the cross with Jesus, uh, of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to his disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, To fulfill scripture,